Hello all, in this video we are going to solve problem number 9.6 standard 12 physics ray optics. So the question is we are given a prism whose refractive index we don't know. Okay, but we do know that the minimum deviation of this particular prism when kept in air is 40 degrees. The angle of prism that is this angle is 60 degrees. Now we will have to find the refractive index of the prism first by the given data and then they are asking that if you immerse this prism inside water of refractive index 1.33 what will be the new angle of deviation for this particular case so first of all we do know about this formula that refractive index of the prism that is in air right now that is equal to sine of a plus delta minimum by 2 divided by sine a by 2. Now we know all the values. Let's plug in. Now the value of sin 50 you will have to use the natural signs and you can easily find it out that it is equal to 0 0.766 0 and this is 0 0.5 sin 30 is half. So if you solve this you will get the refractive index of the prism in air and that will be 1.53. Now the same prism is immersed in the water so you have to understand this very carefully that you cannot change A because A is the angle of prism which is the angle between two surfaces of the prism which are joined together. So this prism can't be bent like this or this. All right. So if there is a change in the refractive index, there has to be a change in the delta minimum only because these two are constants, they can't be changed. So if this decreases, because this is in the numerator part, so if this decreases, this has to decrease and if this increases, this has to increase, not proportionally. Okay. So from this, we can say that if this prism, which was in air, now it is, if it is kept in water, it will be refractive index of the prism with respect to water. This was with respect to air. So here it with respect to air and the refractive index of air is 1. But here it is with respect to water. So like this. And that will be equal to again sine A plus now I should say delta minimum dash because now it will change because there is a change over here upon sine A by 2. So this is we have already found from here. So I'm going to substitute this value 1.53 divided by 1.33 that is equal to sine A that is 60. We don't know what is delta minimum dash right now divided by 2 upon sine 30 that is 0 0.5. Now I'll take it over this side and we are going to solve this. Okay. So now this is 1.15 into 0 0.5 that is equal to sine 60 plus delta m dash by 2. Now I'll find the sign inverse of this part which is this is 0 0.5750. So your answer will be let's solve this plus delta m dash by 2. This goes over here so it will be sign inverse. Now this is 0 0.5750 you can solve it with the calculator and sign inverse of this turns out to be 35.6 degrees so approximately 35.6 degrees is what I should say degrees like this one okay now I cross multiply bring the 60 on the other side I'll get the delta minimum value that is 35.6 multiplied by 2 and then I'll have to subtract 60 and this angle turns out to be 10 degree and 12 minutes so this is my new angle of deviation and as I said that if you still immerse this into a very denser medium, this is going to decrease. So for that, this has to decrease. 